Tommy Tuber- Tuberville, Tuberville was on Newsmax. He was speaking with Chris Salcedo. And they're talking about Biden. They think that he's cognitively declining. I mean, Biden has had some some tough moments in public recently, and he's not getting any younger. I get it. Um, but Trump's brain is a bowl of porridge, uh, so we're not really dealing with the most mentally acute candidates on, on either side. We're but, not in a good place as a country. Certainly. Cognitively speaking. Yes. <laughs> Tuberville is... Then, like, after making this point about Biden's cognitive decline, seems to have some issues of his own. Oh, sorry. To all of us across the country that are Americans, that our leader, supposedly leader in the White House, he he can't remember names, he can't carry on a conversation, he has to listen to the press corps to give him hints about what he's talking about. we're really bad trouble when it comes to Joe Biden, and hopefully we've only got 10, 12 more months with him. Uh, do you want to make a pick in the Super Bowl or, or, or not? Well, uh, San Francisco's got the best defense. Uh, obviously, the best quarterback is going to be on the side of the of Kansas City Chiefs, but they got a running back, and San, San Francisco is pretty dang good. And usually, running game and defense is going to win the big games. San Francisco. Yep. To all of them. Okay. So he forgot Patrick Mahomes' name then. And the, he, he also forgot the name of the team. He couldn't, he was like the uh, uh, Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> I love uh, that. Yeah, he's not a... Guy will be 70. Not the, brightest, not the brightest bowl, but it's just like particularly egregious because he's a football coach. That was what he was before a senator. He should, should probably know... If anybody know, if name one football player, I mean, maybe yeah. Travis Kelsey is now the name people would give because of the Taylor Swift stuff. But most people would have just been like, oh, Patrick Mahomes. I'll be, I'll be perfectly frank. If Joe Biden uh, was babbling as incoherently as he is currently, but was saying uh, what I support in Israel is a one democratic state for all people, I would be defending him. I don't really think that the um, performance is the utmost uh, when I look at politicians in the world. I think the coalitions that they represent and yes. I think Biden should should actually be representing the one that he is uh, the figurehead for instead of telling them actually um, supporting this genocide is the best that we can do. Uh, uh, and so like th- this whole thing seems irrelevant. We've always had putting brain leaders, uh, uh, Ronald Reagan famously, yep. uh, like um, uh, there was like there's a famous story from the 80s um, uh, where he like a reporter just like he looked like glass. Um, uh, he he didn't yeah, anyway. Like this is it's, common. It's not just the, the uh, president is not. It, it, the, right. That's the, true. The, the, maybe there's some mold in the in the Oval Office, but like the the there's it, it's not just about the figurehead. It's about it, the thousands and thousands of staff that they bring along. So yeah. You know, the idea of like, it's the Hillary Clinton construct of if you get a call at three in the morning, two in the morning, who do you want on the other end of the line? Do you want me, This, you know, uh, or do you want the... And making it about personal like um, qualities and not like yeah. who do you represent and who got you to office is just childish liberal, like story, fairy uh, tale stuff. Exactly. 